More than half a million deaths from COVID-19 by the spring. That is based on the latest model from researchers at the University of Washington. King 5's Amy Marino is live at UW with what the models are showing and how a vaccine or even a mask could change some of these numbers. Amy, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, researchers here at UW looked at data from the U.S. and Washington State alone comparing what would happen if there was a rapid deployment of the vaccine, what would happen if there's widespread usage of masks, what would happen if they start lifting some of the restrictions, just kind of looking at all those factors. The current projection is if we continue on the same course, about 538,000 people nationwide would die from COVID by April 1st. With a rapid vaccine rollout, that number drops to 527,000. But an even more surprising number is if there was universal mask wearing, the number would drop even more to 472,000, suggesting mask wearing would have a bigger immediate impact than the vaccine will initially have. The numbers for the state of Washington alone are similar, but on a lower scale, coming in at 6,600 projected deaths by the spring, dropping to 5,400 if everyone wears masks. News of the vaccine is promising, but they say it won't have that immediate impact. We don't think that vaccination will do much about this winter surge. We'll start to see a big effect of vaccination, you know, after April it, to, to a larger extent, some in March. Yeah, it, it means we'll get back to normal much sooner because of vaccination, and, and that's, a, that's fantastic, but it, it it's not the tool that's going to avoid the deaths in January and February. And researchers really said the government response in the next few months will also play a key role in slowing down the spread of the virus and also helping more people get access to that vaccine.